Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today, that's right, we're gonna be going after the Wither. So, I hope you guys are ready. So I just got done with a little mining session, and as, as you guys knew from last episode, I've had my baby, and I am now a father of three little girls, and I thank you guys so much for all of the congratulations that you guys said. I really appreciate that, um, and my wife definitely did too. But I want to go ahead and jump back right into the uh, the Let's Play experience that we've had going on, and we need to do a few things. One, I went ahead and went mining. Uh, I need to definitely throw a couple pieces of diamond on this sh this uh, shovel. I don't want to lose that uh, enchant. And then uh, over here, let's see, I have it over here. Um, my sword definitely needs. Oh no, we can't repair this thing anymore. <laughs> this thing needs mending. Oh, this is such a good sword too. Uh, we're gonna have to put it to, to work, I guess on its last adventure, because this thing is gonna be dying on us very soon. Oh man, that's no fun at all. But anyways, today we're gonna be fighting the Wither. Um, I do have my Wither Skeleton Skulls right here. We have those guys ready to go. Uh, we're gonna be fighting that guy very soon. I'm gonna try the end method. It's probably not gonna work out for me. I'm probably gonna end up having to fight him manually anyways. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of this down here. Might as well throw some cobblestone down there as well. Um, let's see, let's throw all of that cobblestone down there and get that cooked up. Um, I do have a few places I can put some things, but I, we definitely need to expand our storage area. It is just getting just out of hand with, with our storage. Um, like redstone, like I, I have to compress redstone every time now. Every time I go mining, redstone has to be compressed. Otherwise, I have nowhere to put it. Um, same for lapis. Lapis is getting to that point. Has to be compressed. Or it will not fit anywhere. Yes, it will not fit uh, anywhere at all. Okay. And then, of course, the diamonds. I'll priest those nuggets. But yeah, we're going to be fighting him today. Um, we do need to figure out exactly what we need on us. We definitely need some sort of good food, which I would say steak. Uh, I know I have some steak laying around. If not, we're going to go cook some. Um, but I definitely do have cow. I, d I have some raw beef right here. Or some raw beef right there. Um, and I don't need any kind of flight. So that can go away. I don't need any torches, any major thing like that. But I don't even need my trident. Um, I don't need any of those. My shovel, my axe. I do need my sword and my pickaxe. And I need my bow. Alright. And I'm gonna have to go farming for some arrows really soon. I'm gonna do that here in just a little bit. Uh, but arrows are gonna be something I'm gonna need a few of. I have some, like... Oh, I guess maybe not. We won't need arrows. I have a bunch right here. Perfect. Uh, but I will need potions. And I will need this apple. And these apples. And I will need these strength potions. Uh, potions of instant health would be a yes. Um, and then I I know I'm going to get the wither effect. There's really not much I can do with, you know, with the wither effect. There's not much that I'm going to be able to do at all to help, help myself from that. Um, so I'm not even going to bother, honestly, with the wither effect. I'm just going to let it hurt me. That's where these apples are going to come in handy. Um, my armor doesn't have blast protection. But it does have protection, and we do have prop three on them. Let me grab this armor. I'll replace that. We don't want flying right now. Because we are going to end up fighting this guy in the end. And we can get to the end by boat. It's not a big deal. So, with all that being said... Oh, man. I think we have just about everything I'm going to need in order to fight this guy. Like, I have all my apples. This is going to go in my offhand. I have all this. Let's get our actual soul sand that we're going to need. I know I have more soul sand laying around. I have to have more soul sand. If not, I know where to get a piece of soul sand. <laughs> and then our wither skulls. Oh, man. 
I am I am ready. I mean, our armor doesn't have. I mean, our armor's lacking a little bit, but I think we'll be able to withstand this guy. I hope, and then I might be able to repair this armor in full eventually. Real soon, we'll be able to do that. All right, so I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna grab me a bit of this soul sand. We don't need this soul sand over here. And I'm also gonna get some regeneration made. I need to make regeneration potions. Fighting this wither with the wither effect is going to be a killer without regeneration potions. So over here is where I'm gonna get some regeneration potions. This is where I've actually been in the, I've been in the end. And I've been killing these guys like crazy. Um, let's see, where are my gas tiers? They gotta be in here. Are they in this special chest here? Yes. So let's take our gas tiers, and we're gonna make some potions with those, right? I'm gonna take some of this, we'll get some glass bottles going. I have my blaze rod, everything I'm gonna need. Let's head on over here. Of course, going down. We'll make our way through here. All right, we're, we're gonna have to do the run <laughs> to get to the other side, um, and I'll meet you guys when we get there. So for regeneration two potions, we need a gas tier for these. Um, I'm even going to take these potions right here, the no effect, throw those over here. These are all mundane, minus that one, which is a water potion. Let's see, I know I have one of these guys I can pick up. And what I'll do is I'll just get that one transformed. But yeah, these all give you regeneration, uh, but normal regeneration for 45 seconds. I wanna see can we maybe put glowstone on these to affect them? I don't actually have glowstone nearby. That's no fun. I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Um, but luckily, actually, let's go ahead and get more regeneration. I'm gonna actually turn these into regeneration as well. But yeah, I wanna see if I can't maximize our regeneration effect by doing that. I wonder if I can swim faster than I can walk down there. I don't think so. Anyways, I'm gonna go back, get some uh, get some glowstone, and see if we can't make this better. So I went ahead and applied the glowstone to this, and it did, it did give me regeneration too. I, I'm noticing that this is acting really funny over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this, the potion of regeneration. It'll give us regeneration for half the time, but it'll give us a better effect, double the effect, similar to our strength, which should help us defeat um, defeat the wither a little bit faster. So I'm gonna take these regeneration potions, those are gonna be very handy uh, very soon, and I'll just take this extra one, um, and then I'll deposit all this stuff over here. Perfect, all right, so we're gonna have to get one more piece of soul, I guess two more pieces of soul sand actually. Um, I say that because I'm gonna have to have some blocks to build with, and then I'm gonna get myself some cobblestone, because we're gonna use cobblestone to our advantage, and we're gonna try and trap this guy in the end. Now, if it doesn't work, I do have a backup plan. Yes, I do have a backup plan. So, just for the, the case that he, it doesn't work, I have a backup. So, hopefully, it works, because uh, then we can just go on with our life, get our nether star, and be done with it. Um, but I am gonna have to actually grab a couple more pieces. I thought I had so much more soul sand from my farming when I, when I actually had to farm this. Oh, I know where all my soul sand is. It's at my guardian farm. That's exactly where my soul sand's at. But that's okay. We'll take this. And we're going to use this to our advantage. Alright. So, now all I have to do, grab some cobblestone. And we're about ready to rock and roll. You know? This is our emergency apple. Emergency. Uh, just in case he doesn't get stuck. This is my backup plan. Along with all my other potions and stuff that I have on me. So, let's hope... <laughs> let's hope that this works. All right, let's grab some stone blocks. I'm gonna grab some stone bricks. Um, and I think that's about it, right? I shouldn't need too much more. I'll grab some andesite just to make it look even uglier as we go out here. And then I need to grab a boat. All right, I'm gonna need to make a boat of some sort. Do I even have enough? Yes, I have enough to make a birch boat. Literally the ugliest boat. And there we go. So now that I'm in the end, I went ahead and went right underneath the portal. And so what I have is a three block space underneath. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in so it does have these blocks. We're gonna go ahead and gap this up here. 
I don't know if this helps any having these blocks here. But I'm gonna put them there just to be on the safe side. And let's go ahead and move that. And what I have is an escape tunnel, so that way whenever I do spawn him in, I will run this direction and let him not target me right away. So that way hopefully he will get stuck up there or the, the wither will get st stuck up there. Is the wither a guy or is it a girl? I know the dragon's a, a female. Is the, is the, is, is this thing a, does this even have a gender? What, what is this thing? So yes, so I should be able to place this much like that. And when I place the heads, this thing should get stuck up there. All right. Whew, I'm kind of uh, getting ready for this. So I have regeneration strength. Keep all my regenerations in the same spot. I don't want to use my strength right away. But I do want my insta health right there. I'll throw that there once I get the heads placed. But anyways, guys, moment of truth. Let's run. Let's get away from this guy. Right? Let's get away. Hopefully he gets stuck up there. Potion of strength. Let's hit this guy with some arrows. Oh, it's working. It's definitely working. All right, so it's definitely hit the hit him time. Oh, man. That was so easy and so nice. Oh, I was I was way over prepared. Way over prepared for this. But that's wholly worked. That setup totally worked. I don't know if me moving away helped any, but that definitely worked so well. And look at that. We have ourselves our first nether star. Oh man, is that good. Oh, that was so easy. But the, the hardest part is getting the heads, man. Getting the heads are so hard. Uh, this is going to make mining so much easier once we get ourselves a beacon set up so we can get some haste going on. Oh, man. That is so good. Um, well, this may have been one of my shortest episodes, but I do want to let you guys know that I do have a lot going on, which you guys already know this. And uh, being a new father is, is of course, is my third go around, but it's, it's always different. Every time, every every child is different. So it's been a wild ride. And I, like I said at the very beginning, I do appreciate all the congratulations you guys gave me. If you guys are watching this and it's a little late, um, you guys can always look back and see what went on. But uh, really amazing. I, I appreciate all the comments that you guys uh, commented, all the thumbs up, all the likes. You guys are amazing. You guys know I love you guys. But anyways, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for uh, for everything that you guys did. And uh, I hope you guys are ready for the next episode because we're going to be getting ourselves a beacon set up for the first time. I've actually never really messed around with beacons too much. Um, I'm, I'm sort of a beacon noob. So if you guys have any tips about beacons, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know. I know you guys said get up, get a, uh, a farm going. That'd be great, like a, a golem farm, so we can actually get tons of iron, so we can max these things out. But uh, I want to know what you guys, uh, what, what do you guys think is the uh, the best way to set beacons up? And how do you get this work to work with a pick? I know that I've of that, but I, I've never actually made it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.